the game that will save the anime Roblox genre, Rel Seas. If you are familiar with Rel Seas, I have talked about it in the past on my channel and how I'm expecting great things from these people, bro. Rel, the Rel brothers are doing great, great things and their recent post has proven to me that they are sticking to what they're saying. They talk a lot of shit and you know, you love it or you hate it, but they talk a lot of shit, but at least they're keeping to their word. That is what is most important here. But yeah, they recently just updated us. It's been nearing a month into close testing. So literally an entire month of just straight close testing. I wonder what they actually got us cooked up with here. So they say that today is the 21st day since close testing has begun over the period that we have accomplished. They've done major overhauls and reworks with the combat system, killed a ton of bugs, improved the animating side of things, the UI side of things, definitely the UI side of things. I wonder what their new UI or like the UI systems are looking like now because I wasn't really messing with the old UI, but hey. They finished up the crafting and material system, event system is done, so like mission events, maybe you'll be able to task to kill like the random mobs they, they have around the world. That, that'll be pretty interesting. Hopefully they do incorporate that with like more of the ocean creatures as well because not a lot of games expand on the ocean aspect, right? of One Piece, right? I feel like the ocean aspect needs to be expanded upon now since we haven't really got to explore that type of like vision yet. But got a bunch of boss mechanics done, attack patterns for bosses, and they say that there are 32 mesh deformed bosses completed. 40 once the Sea Kings are done. So they have 82 bosses in total, which leads us to believe that at least 42 of the mobs are kind of humanoid and not mesh deformed. But maybe there could be some mesh deformed humanoids, right? Maybe like the giants and stuff. But this will be super interesting to see. Because 32 bosses? Mesh deformed? That is a lot of content right there. I wonder how fast we're actually going to blitz through all of this, to be honest. But yeah, they've changed pretty much a lot of the core gameplay. Now, we haven't gotten to see a lot of the PvE, so... This will be our first time getting, you know, getting to talk about the PvE because they actually have a shit ton of PvE content from the looks of it, right? 82 bosses? That's a lot, bro. There's a lot. But the PvP, it looks like it's going as planned. And they said that, you know, the combat's changed to be kind of slow paced to a more fast paced version of their combat system. So that should be pretty interesting to see when it drops. Now, I, I have heard news that this game is supposed to work on mobile, so that's pretty good too, right? For their expansive player base, they'll be able to actually play this game on mobile, maybe possibly console as well. I think they mentioned console in the past, as well as PC, which is the main, I feel like, main demographic for a lot of these players. I think a lot of the players are going to be on PC for sure. There's no way. But yeah, they have a bunch of sea beasts. Just a crap ton of stuff, bro. A crap ton of stuff. Hey, don't forget about the ship combat system too, because the ship combat system is pretty extensive from what I've seen. So all of this should be very cool. Now they also go over new light weapons, new Pika Pika weapons. Now I know you guys see my last video on Relsies where I do talk about Pika Pika and how I personally do not like Pika Pika all that well. Even though it's my favorite devil fruit, right? Now with Pika Pika, they did take to redesign all the weapon types for the respective weapon classes. So no more Escanor Axe, thank you. Now there's an actual original style axe, sword, rapier, and gun. All very cool, to be honest. I, I fuck with these designs, they all look really nice. Or that's not really a sword, that's a dagger, now that I think about it. That's a light dagger. Yeah, it looks like a light dagger. And a gun, that's pretty cool. But yeah, that absolutely fucking sick. Now, they recently dropped their Leviathan reveal. Now, I'm going to put this up on screen here. This is phenomenal, bro. Like, it, these models look crazy. Now, imagine each and every one of these having their own moveset. They're like, dude, this is so fucking sick, dude. Like, they just appear in the world maybe as, like, mission bosses. You know how, like, in Shinobi Life, how they had the, the tail bees just spawn around the map. You had to team up and kill it. I hope this is kind of similar, but in the water, right? So this will be very interesting to see how it plays out with like devil fruits and stuff trying to kill these leviathans even though they're mainly like water creatures. So yeah, I think this is going to be very fucking cool. Damn bro, Ralsei's Ralsei is, is going to save the platform. I already know it bro, I already know. They're going to save the fucking anime Roblox genre. But yeah, this is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I was going to just go over some Ralsei's news and yeah, you guys uh, peace out, take care, and love y'all.